Psychoanalysis. <laughs> Interesting. Now, Professor Id, you are here to talk to us tonight about psychoanalysis. And I think all of us are wondering, if you have someone in front of you, how do you psychoanalyze them? First, I ask them questions about their childhood and sex and mothers. <laughs> All right, so you used the word first, so I'm assuming there's going to be a second. Secondly, I ask them about their opinion about my sex. <laughs> then they say answers and I experience joy. <laughs> yeah, people get paid for this. Um, <laughs> Very interesting. So, um, what made you so attracted to psychoanalysis? I was attracted to trauma because I was traumatized when I saw my first sex. <laughs> I almost hate to ask this, but in the interest of the interview, I feel that I should. Could you describe it for us? <laughs> it was steamy. It was messy. It was my own parents. <laughs> wow. Even with my limited knowledge of psychoanalysis, I know that's ironic. Um, all right. So uh, talk us through here. You are an expert on this, and I heard you have invented some new techniques for mm. psychoanalysis. Could you maybe share one with us? Well... By my new experiments, you need to ask yourself about yourself and <laughs> about me. When you answer, you will know more about you and about me than you do now. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. It sounds all right. Okay, so uh, I have one more question for you. While I ask this question, if you in your head think oh, there's something that I would really like to ask about psychoanalysis, uh, just hold up for one more question, and then please raise your hand afterwards, and we will take some questions from the crowd. Uh, so my question uh, to you is, have you ever psychoanalyzed yourself? Hmm. What happened? Many Many times I have tried to psychoanalyze myself, but it never works because I don't have questions for myself. I only have answers for everyone else. Well, I guess that's why you're here, Professor Id, so thank mm. you for that. Now, are there any questions in our audience? Uh, yes, you met. Sure, you can. What would you recommend to anybody who wants to be a psychoanalyzer? Psychoanalyzer. Yeah. For one to become to become a psychoanalyzer, they should ask me about money. I <laughs> have courses that I teach about money. And money will buy you lots of knowledge <laughs> also sex <laughs> faint echoes of scientology fill the room um, we have time for one more question if there's one more question in the audience that something that you'd always want us to know about psychoanalysis or sex yes you madam yes sorry would you describe your most interesting patient for us mm. Once upon a time, I had a patient that I found on the pond next to the house of the aunt of the mayor of this town. This pond was no place or no <laughs> place. Oh. No. Location. So, when the 
person came out of the water. I said, why do you think you can swim? Well, this patient said, I am a frog. <laughs> so I said, wow. Cool. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's amazing. I think it was incredible that through your question we have finally reached self psychoanalysis. I, it's incredible. Uh, not great. Before we sign off, uh, I'm sure everyone in this crowd is wondering about the future of psychoanalysis. Mm. So, to close off, could you please describe it for us? In my future, there will be many experiences that you could buy, but you can only afford if you work for me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it for Professor Ian.